morning everyone now welcome to the second practical here we will be designing a clamper using a diode so again we start with our practical by going to the file new schematic now for designing this uh, clamper we need the components that are a capacitor i just rotated by pressing control r and click and escape then a resistor bring it to the screen click and escape then a diode and escape and then i need a voltage source for that i'll go to the components voltage you get a voltage source press ok and click and escape i need a ground i'll just click on the ground bring it click and escape now i have to make the circuit i'll use the wire icon make my circuit click at the start and the end that will help you to complete your circuit so <clears throat> my circuit is almost done once your circuit is made the next task is to give it the value so after you have finished press escape that uh, removes the wire now we'll go to each component and name them and give the values go, take the mouse to the voltage right click i want a volt sinusoidal i just take sign Amplitude is five. Frequency is one k. Okay. Then a capacitor of value. Take your mouse, right click, point one mu. Press okay. Then go to the resistor, right click, one mega. So for mega, M capital. You can write. <clears throat> one e six, okay. Now diode as will pick up I n four one four eight. So this completes our circuit. We'll again go to the run. Stop time is one milli. Point one milliseconds is the step size. Press okay. Now I can see what is the input. And what is the output? So you can clearly see the output is getting clamped. I'd say around quickly rises. It charges the capacitor, clamps it around 0.6 volts. We can see what is the value by just clicking at the value which we want to see by taking the mouse left click. It gives us the cursor. We can take the cursor and see the value. So it's around 594 millivolts. No, it's actually clamping the voltage in one direction. We can have a diode in the reverse direction also. So we'll make the changes and add another diode by reversing its direction, control R. And click and escape. Take the wire, make the connection, Click on starting point and the end point. Once done, press escape. Bring your mouse to the diode, right click, pick new diode, select IN4148 and press OK. Again, we are not changing any run conditions, but we'll add the labels for the in point. To define what is the terminal where we'll be seeing the input and similarly we'll do it for the output and type of port is out and press ok press escape take the wire click on the wire and make the connections Remember, click on the starting point and the end point. Once done, press escape. So my circuit is complete. 
I just need to add the title. So it is clamp. So I take the text box, add the title and say zoom fit to the extent. So it brings everything in the zoom limit. Now I'll go again and run it. So I know which is the input terminal. Click on the input, click on the output. We can clearly see, but now to have a better clarity, I just want to remove this. So I just go to this cut and remove this input. Yeah, can you see it clearly shows the capacitor charging and discharging. I'll just press escape. And I can see it goes around 600 millivolts in positive and similarly in the, so it's not a sinusoidal, it's the char capacitor charging and discharge. As we change these values of capacitor and resistor, this charging and discharging time will change. So that's it for this practical. Thank you.